at the age of 16 I became baptised and that's when I made a conscious decision to follow Jesus and never look back. Since then, um, up until just last week, I've been going to church every single week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is the home of faith, music and wellness brought to you by me, Destiny. And today's video is a Christian girl tag in response to a video that Girl Got Faith recently posted on their channel. If you don't know Girl Got Faith, they are a teens Christian movement and they are doing amazing things on social media, they're in schools now, and if you follow them on social media, you'll see the inspiration that they post daily. Um, I'm excited for, for this movement because it's it's London based and it's totally amazing, basically. Go and check them out. You can also check their video of this Christian girl tag um, on their channel and I'll link that down below. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to their channel, like and share all the videos and let's just get right in. Let's mute this because we don't want to we don't want to have any distractions. The first question in the Christian Girl tag is how long have you been a Christian and how did you become? I have always been coming to church with my mom uh, from when I was about six or seven years of age uh, but when I became baptised I was 16 so that's when I made the conscious decision to follow Jesus and never turn back. So I've been a Christian all my life, baptised when I was 16. I'm now 23 years old. What is your favourite Bible first? It differs between seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you and Jeremiah 29 11 which says uh, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope um, and not to harm you and I love those two because they are solid promises that I know and have tested and they work and I know they're not a lie, uh, they work for my life and my situations and I claim them each time I'm going through certain seasons, um, especially now just finishing uni, like I keep having to remind myself to seek God's kingdom first um, and to just rest in the promise that God has got a plan for me. Um, even when you don't really know what your plan is, or well, you do, but you kind of like maybe doubting or something. Anyways, another video. Definitely let me know what your favourite scriptures are because I'm all for um, taking scriptures, turning it, turning them into affirmations, uh, building devotions on them. So yeah, let me know what your favourites are as well. What is your favourite Christian book? Um, at the moment, I'm reading a book called. Caring Enough to Confront, it's not here, but I was recommended it by um, a guy that I met uh, doing some training for work and I saw it and I was like, I'm really into like self-help and books to do with relationships and to do with uh, uh, wellness and that kind of thing and Caring Enough to Confront was something that I was like, okay, do I need to read this book? Am I someone who gets into confrontation a lot? Not really. Mm. When reading this book now, it's talking about how Jesus deals with every situation um, and especially with, with human interaction, like how to basically deal with somebody who you can't really get your point across or you're trying to or there's loads of different aspects in this book and it's only a short book as well so I'll definitely do a review once I've finished um, but I'm excited for this book it's called Caring Enough to Confront and I've forgotten who it's by but I'll link it down below. Favourite Christian song right now would have to be... Um, I I'm not sure actually I don't really have like favourite songs there's a song that I keep playing and it's called Those Who Wait sorry it's called Those Who Wait by Bethany Dillon. Uh, it's a very old album, but the song is still, uh, the message is still prominent today. It talks about God blessing those who wait and uh, me being able to rest and, and not run and just wait on God. My favorite lyric from this song uh, says, Lord, today you know what I need to do 
and you can do more in my waiting than in my doing I can do and that just just says to me like okay well I'm gonna try and do everything I want to do today but really God knows what I need to do and he knows what I want to get done as well and he can do more than what I can do like with my hands and my feet like he can do so much more um, so I may as well just rest in him you know seek his kingdom first um, so yeah I love that song it's those who wait by De by Bethany Gill by Bethany Dillon well since I started going to uni and studying um, I've been I've become like as you do you get like really tired and stuff throughout the week and then on the weekend you just kind of want to lie in um, but whenever it's whenever it's time for church God always wakes me up and he's like destiny you should go to church today and I'm thinking to myself okay day of rest I should probably sleep in like, I'm sure God won't mind um, but what I love about church is that every time I walk through the doors there's always something for me to um, receive in terms of a blessing and there's always somebody that I uh, can bless with my testimony throughout the week. I go in and it's never in vain. Even if, you know, it might not be the most exciting service that week. There's always something I can take with me and always something I can give. And that way you grow, you know, each week you're like, okay, there's something new that I can give, there's something new that I can learn. Um, and it's just a, a progression, a weekly progression. So that's what I love about church, that when you go there, it's never in vain. My favorite place to pray, um, I often pray either at my desk or beside my bed. Um, and that's just because they're the most quiet places that I have um, to go and pray at the moment. So yeah, I'm always praying, I'm talking to God. When I write in my journal, um, I actually write to God as if I'm writing to God, like a letter kind of thing, and then I just pray over it as well. Um, but that's just how my mind works. That's how I'm able to get my thoughts out constructively. Um, and I find that's what works for me. So I'm always praying on the road, going to work, going to uni, whatever. Um, but beside my bed is probably my favorite place to pray. And this last question I added in and it says, what is your best piece of advice for somebody starting uh, their Christian journey? So my advice would be to get yourself a Bible and a journal and a really cute pen or any pen, it doesn't have to be cute. The reason I say to get these things is because you will have experiences from day one when you meet God you will have experiences and if you're somebody like me that can't keep a lot of things in their head and you have to write them down a journal is the perfect way to do that so start journaling your experience with God and I tell you it's so wonderful there will be ups and downs but when you look at that journal you look at like 2013 and then now 2015 and 2017 you can see the growth or the, the is it relapse you see everything that's been happening in your Christian journey and you're able to take that to God and say, God, look, this is where I want to be or this is where I was, like, um, you know, help me through it. Uh, so yeah, I definitely say get those three resources and also get yourself a group of friends or a friend that you can pray with, that you can talk to and share things with and know that you won't be judged or, um, you know, feel a certain way for telling somebody something or asking questions you know because you will have questions um, so yeah get yourself a journal a bible a pen and some good friends and find a church as well there's information down below as to where I worship uh, from Wolverhampton there's lots of churches in Wolverhampton. just enjoy your experience with God honestly don't look at anybody else's journey don't look anywhere but at yourself and to God because at the end of the day that's the only relationship that truly matters your relationship with God so you can look to other people for inspiration even me in this video like you can look to me for inspiration um, God has I believe God has blessed me with things to share with you uh, but ultimately it's about your relationship with God how you internalize the the messages that you read in the word and how you take the advice and experience that I share with you and use it for your life. That is the end of the Christian Girl Tag. I hope you enjoyed the answers. Please leave a comment down below uh, what 
what is your favourite thing about church, what is your favourite song, when did you become a Christian, let me know in the comments below, like, share and subscribe this, to this channel and I will see you in my next video, bye!